Did you know that 82% of all Amazon sales actually go through the buy box and on mobile purchases, that number is even higher. So if you're a seller on Amazon, reselling a product more than likely, if you're not that first seller in the buy box, you have a very, very slim chance of actually converting that sale. So don't worry today, I am going to share with you how to win the buy box and how to become eligible for the buy box so you can increase and convert more sales going forward. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Again, Josh with Debt to Dollars here where I teach you how to take side hustles and turn them into financial freedom. Uh, we primarily focus this channel on selling on Amazon as a side hustle. So again, today I'm here to share with you how to win the buy box and how to become eligible for the buy box so you can convert more sales. This is a very important aspect that all professional Amazon sellers should recognize and understand uh, in order to convert those sales because if you're not the first seller reselling a product um, that's in the buy box, you're gonna have very limited and few chances of actually converting sales. But fortunately, if you do understand how to win the buy box and the steps that you need to follow and take, you're gonna be well off and you're gonna sell a good amount of products. So let's jump over to the computer here today. I'm gonna to start off by explaining what the buy box is so you have an understanding of what that truly is. And then I'm gonna go into detail on how to become eligible for it, for the buy box, and then how to actually win it and convert the most amount of sales. All right, let's get started, guys. Okay, so starting off, and probably the first question that you have on your mind is what is the buy box? I'm sure if you're a consumer on Amazon, if you purchase goods from Amazon, you know exactly what the buy box is, and it's nothing complex. So the buy box refers to the white box that's on the right side of the Amazon product detail page. This is where customers can add items to their cart or they can purchase that item instantly. Now, who really has to worry about the buy box? This is really only an issue to existing sellers when multiple Amazon resellers are selling the product. I know that's a, that's a lot of information there. But really, if you're reselling a product that is already on Amazon, there's a way that you can tell if there's more sellers reselling that same product. If there are, you're going to be competing for the buy box. Now, if you make handmade products, for example, and there's no chance that someone else is going to create that same identical product and sell it, you're not really going to have an issue here. And honestly, this video really isn't for you. But again, this video is for those individuals who are reselling products on Amazon and they're competing against other sellers on that same product listing page. Let's take a look at an example here. These are a pair of headphones that are some generic brand, probably from overseas. It isn't a well-known brand in my mind. Um, maybe it's different for you, but these headphones actually have a lot of sellers selling the same product. So in case you don't know, when you come to a product listing page such as here, there may be more than one seller that's selling this identical product. And that is really how Amazon works. There are a bunch of different sellers selling a bunch of different products that can give it that competitive advantage. So as I mentioned before on the desktop version, if you go to the right side, you'll see this box shown right here. And it's gonna give you a lot of details about the product, things about shipping and handling, uh, things about delivery, as well as the availability of that product. So as we can see here, these headphones cost $59.99, free returns, free delivery, Tells you the fastest delivery to my location is actually tomorrow if I order within the next 12 hours and it's in stock. So that's really all the information you need to know and that you want to know before you go ahead and order this product. Now you have two options. You can add it to your cart and then continue browsing and shopping on Amazon and then finally check out at the very end. Or you can do the one click instant buy now which will take you right to the transaction page. Now here's where it gets interesting because this says right here, ships from Amazon, sold by Anchor Direct. So that is a seller. Now, if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see that there's another box down here where it says new and used from $42.77 plus free shipping. So if you click this, it's actually going to take you to all the different sellers that are selling this product. And that's what we're finding here. So in addition to that one seller that's Anchor Direct there in the buy box, there's also a bunch of different people who are selling this product used or like new condition as we see right here and then there's actually two other sellers one called woot and one called sharing deals company uh, that's selling it new for a higher price so what i'm going to teach you guys today is how to go ahead and put yourself at the number one spot in that buy box so when someone clicks add cart or buy now they immediately purchase that product or products from your store and not from another seller on that listing now before i go ahead and share with you how to win that buy box i want to make sure that you understand how to become eligible because not all Amazon sellers that are selling that product or multiple products are actually eligible to become buy box eligible. So the first thing that you need to go ahead and do is to convert your existing Amazon seller account, if it's an individual account, to a professional account. 
So only professional Amazon sellers actually have access of getting that number one spot in the buy box. If not, you're more than likely gonna fall to the bottom of that buy box just because Amazon tends to value their professional sellers versus their individual sellers. And that's really one of the biggest parts of becoming eligible. The second is that the product that you're selling has to be in a new condition. So they're not gonna put a used product at the top of that buy box um, unless it's the only, only seller that is actually selling that product, which is very unlikely for a popular product. And the third thing that you need to make sure is that your product is available and it's in stock. So if your product ever goes out of stock because you have too many sales and you're really shipping a lot of products out, that will eventually be taken out of the buy box and to the lower part of that list until you restock it and we can get you back to that, that number one spot. So those are three things that you need to make sure that you do and to keep your products in good standing in order to become eligible for the top spot in the buy box. Okay, and the last thing I wanna share with you is how do you actually win the buy box and get that number one spot where you're gonna have the best opportunity to convert the most amount of sales. So we're gonna take a look at that headphones example here in a second, but the first thing that you need to go ahead and do is you wanna make sure that your product is using fulfillment by Amazon or Amazon FBA rather than the fulfillment by merchant, which is FBM and you really handle all the shipping, processing, customer service aspects um, without the fee that Amazon's gonna charge you. So you wanna make sure that you're using the FBA service because Amazon's gonna value that over any FBM sellers. Now let's go take a look at the example here and we can look through a lot of different sellers and I can point out the other two main things that you need to, to do in order to get to that top buy box spot. Coming back to the example here, the second thing that you wanna make sure you go ahead and do, and you've honestly already probably thought of it, is to be number one in that spot, to be that anchor direct uh, seller that they're showing here. You wanna make sure that you have the most competitive price. And by that, I mean the cheapest price. So they're able to sell their new conditioned headphones for $59.99, probably because they're the supplier and brand owner of these products. If you look at the other new ones that are down at the bottom here, someone's selling them for $62 and then someone else is selling them for $69.99. So the cheaper that you are and if you're using FBA, you're already gonna have one of the best shots of being at the top of the buy box here. Now the third thing that you wanna go ahead and, ahead and do is you wanna make sure that you have the fastest delivery. Now using Amazon FBA, you're already gonna have a very quick delivery time frame because you're tapping into Amazon's logistic system, which is renowned. You're gonna be eligible for prime delivery to all the people who have the, their prime memberships. And so if you're not doing FBA or you have a very slow shipping time, you're gonna fall lower and lower in the buy box here. So looking at this bottom seller here that is selling at the highest price at $69.99, they are also using amazon.com as their, their shipping source. So that really means that they're using Amazon FBA. So they also have a fastest delivery of tomorrow. And that's the same for our top seller up here. They're using Amazon FBA, fastest delivery to my locations tomorrow. However, if you look at the, the bottom seller here, which is slightly cheaper than the, the seller right above it, they have their fastest delivery from November 5th to November 10th, depending where you're at. They're looking at a, a three to an eight day lead time just to get you that product. Now this, this seller, there's a reason why they're at the very bottom for the new condition, and that's because they have a slow delivery and they also have a higher than normal price versus the uh, top, top seller up here. If you're looking for which one to prioritize, say you can't be the fastest and the cheapest, I would make sure that you're using Amazon FBA because it's always gonna give you the best chance. Amazon wants to increase their prime sales and, and their prime members, so if you are a prime certified using Amazon FBA, you have the highest chance of being up top there. The second thing that they're gonna value is your delivery time if you're not using prime. So you have to take a look here. There's a reason why this seller is above this seller and that's because they have a faster delivery. They do have a higher price, so that tells you that the competitive pricing isn't as advantageous versus the delivery and using the FBA service. All right, so that just about wraps us up here today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. And at this point, you now know how to become eligible for the buy box, and you also know how to win that buy box. So you can be at the very top of that buy box, and when someone clicks purchase instantly or add to cart, it's gonna be your store that they're purchasing that product from. Make sure to go down below, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy learning about side hustles, learning about how to be an e-commerce seller on Amazon, and I would love to have you. And lastly, if I can ask you guys one more favor, go down and hit the like button on this video if you learn something new today. I'd really appreciate that. All right, guys, I'll catch you all next time.